now go to Pia Bonales to show us the 144 Cafe in Tai Tai Rizal. Hi, Pia. Eminent to those of you who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the metro without going too far, maybe it's time for you to go to 144 Cafe. It's this restaurant here in Tai Tai Rizal. With me is owner Nikki Sambile. Hi, good morning, Nikki. Hi, good morning, Pia. Can Welcome. You, thank you. Can you tell me about 144 Cafe? It has a very relaxing mood and mm -hmm. like there's an indoor and outdoor seating. Can you tell me more about what you can do here? Yeah, I just wanted a place where people could come and get away from the city, like after long days, long week of work, like somewhere they can feel at home also, cozy place where they can hang out with friends and family. And also because there's a huge um, outdoor si sitting for the garden, could you actually also have book it for events and things like that? Yeah, actually the place is pretty popular for events, like we've done a couple weddings, mm -hmm. there's been baptisms, a lot of kiddie parties too. So, yeah, the space is pretty big and people like to have their events here because of the options of having it indoor or outdoor. And also very noticeable is the furniture. Like, these chairs that you're sitting on right now, they are all very unique. Can you tell me about how you picked all the furniture for your place? Well, actually, all the interiors and the furniture were designed by Stick Designs, which is my dad's company. So they're a furniture manufacturing company here based in Tai Tai, and they do interior design as well. So everything here was handpicked by them and designed by them also. If guests get interested in some of the chairs and other furniture here, could they actually order? Yeah, they can order. Everything is basically custom made. So everything you see here, they're prototypes of what they can do at Stick Designs. More than the ambience and the furniture, I'm sure a lot of people come back here because of, of the food. And now I could not describe to you just how good everything smells. What's the concept for, the, uh, for your menu? Well, I just wanted comfort food. And we do all-day breakfast as well, all-day breakfast brunch. So even since we're open on the weekends, like, you know, after, you, you don't really want to wake up at 7 a.m. for breakfast on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So they can come in here at 2 p.m. after going out on a Friday night. They can still have their tapa and their pancakes and whatnot. Tell so, me yeah. about these pancakes. They look so good and they really smell so good. What are they? These are our cinnamon bun pancakes. They're one of our best sellers. One of our guests even said they'd have these as their last meal. So that was <laughs> a huge compliment for yeah. us. What goes in a cinnamon bun pancake? It's, of course, cinnamon. And yeah, so we have our pan like our you know, typical pancake mm -hmm. batter, and then we swirl it with like a mixture of cinnamon and butter and sugar. L lots of the good stuff for you. <laughs> Sounds really good, and look how thick they are, and it smells really good. And, of course, a Pinoy staple, the tapa. Can you tell yes. me about this one? Another one of our best sellers. We, make our, we have our own marinade for the tapa, so it's made by us. And then, you know, people love their tapa, I mean, with all the other restaurants off offering it also. This is one of our best sellers. It's slightly on the sweet side. Uh -huh. But then, you, you know, you bounce it off with the vinegar and yes. chili and whatnot. And then a lot of people would want to go for something healthier, although fried. <laughs> it's the chicken. It's, uh, it looks so good. What's in your... What, what can you tell me about this dish? So this is our country fried chicken. Mm -hmm. It, ha it comes with mashed potatoes, rosemary gravy, and a biscuit. It's more of, it's more of, an, a, Western, more of a Western spin on it. So you can always order extra rice on the side <laughs> if you want. Yeah, if you want more yes. carbs. But look at <laughs> that piece of chicken. It looks so juicy. And of course, this one. Can you tell me about the pasta? This is our uh, aligate you pasta. So it's more kind of fusion-y. But then aligues, uh, crab fat. And then we just mix it with lots of garlic, and then there's some tio also for some uh, saltiness. Wow. It sounds so good, and of course, everything looks so comforting. Like you said, it's comfort food. How about the price point? Um, what's the price range for your menu? Our, price, our prices range around, I'd say, around 150 We have meals from around like 150 and our most expensive is our osubuko, which is 340 but then that's the only item that's in the 300 range. So everything is in the 200, 150 to like 250 range. Very affordable, Very affordable yes. especially for those who want a relaxing weekend. Please do invite everyone to go to your cafe. Hi guys, uh, welcome and come to 144 Cafe. We're located in Tai Tai. It may sound far, but it's actually quite a nice drive. And once you get here, you'll be surprised by how comforting and how homey everything is. So I hope you guys come and visit us. Thank you so much, Nikki, for accommodating us this morning. To those of you who want just a quick getaway for the weekend, please do visit 144 Cafe here in Taytay Rizal. Jing Amelin.